Okay, it's Friday at 8.40 in the morning and uh, coming out of the house after a lot of noise all night long, we've got that amount of flooding. It's about as far as I've ever seen it. It's a wonder that these none of these have snapped off because they're they're going pretty big. I think our fence is holding that one up right there. Anyway, let's walk around. This tree here is leaning. Rustic Lane did pretty good. I don't like to stand right under those big trees. A big tree has uh, been snapped in half, three quarters of the way up. Several of them have that. There's one, pretty big. So far, the roof hasn't peeled off, so that's a good thing. There's no... There's a big gust there coming. That used to be full of trees right there in the middle. the flooding from the back of the sauna area. This big old tree was snapped. It didn't break the fence, so that's a good thing. Alright. So that's that part of the yard. There's a piece of limb that came down from above, right there. This is deep water right here. I'm surprised it didn't yank this bonnet off the uh, dog's kennel. Seems to be holding up okay. There's some uh, trouble with trees down in back of Blake's house. First time I've seen most of this here. I think I've got it on telephoto a little.
This is in back. This tree is an example of what they're doing around here. That's an oak tree right there. So it's it's about uh, five six inches deep where I'm walking. You can see. And this tree finally made it all the way down. It was uh, it was leaning. I saw it leaning an hour ago. It looks like there's a little damage on the fence. The first uh, first damage. The fence is managing to uh, to make it. This is the back corner of Blake's house. There's a big old tree that, that went down. Here's another one snapped in half. Another one snapped in half. And someone said it was gonna be uh, possibly over today, but I kind of doubt it. A wishful thinker was thinking. All right, here's here's the way you get into Blake's upper house. There, he's got his office down here. Let's see if it's flooded. I don't think so. Look at the water didn't the water didn't get up here. No, it's not wet. that has uh, part of it snapped off. <coughs> they seem to be uh, giving up the ghost really easy because that's that one's down. Most of it, or a lot of it, fell right here. Came off of there. It's a pretty big piece. And then this big tree that we had in the front is going to be gone. But it doesn't look like it crushed the, uh, the roof which is, I'm thankful for that. I think it just bent, 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 and now it's getting support on the roof of the house. Hopefully that's all that's gonna happen damage-wise. If one of these other trees don't take off, you can see there's, there's a couple big ones that could do some, uh, some damage. Limb fell there. These two trees here fell down. I think I think that one went. These two trees went. <clears throat> and that brings us full circle. Over and out. <laughs>